Hello. Welcome to my studio. I want to just do a quick tour of my studio. I'm getting ready to varnish my big desert painting. Um, and I wanted to show you um, how I've finally figured out how to put together Printful with my website and give you a quick quick tour of that and also um, show you, well, show you how I get an image and make uh, it work with Printful. So here we go. Um, I hope you'll follow along. So first thing, here's my Printful store. And I'm going to go into Printful and I go into products. This is just my way. It's easy. I'm still new at it. I go into living products and then um, I, I find the canvas prints because that's right now what I'm fulfilling. And you got to know ahead of time um, the size canvas print you want. And then you click the size that you want. So I know that the one that I'm working on is um, going to be an 8 by 10 So click on that. And it sets that up for you. And then upload your file. So here I'm going in to get the image and I'm just showing you the uh, the just dance with my horse and little girls um, and this one is actually it is an 8 by 10 um, canvas in oil so you upload that and then you click apply and then it takes you to back to this page. Now, right here, you can see it says that's good. If that's red and, and it's it's not a good image quality, it'll let you know. Um, but I don't need it this big anyway. So you go to transform and I'm going to change it to uh, 8 by 10. And that way the image will be, um, will fit the print and it'll it'll be a good quality and then you confirm or continue and then once you continue um, it'll take you to the mock-up and I haven't used the custom mock-ups yet I just have used just this one just so it only shows the print so there's nothing distracting right now I'll play around with that later, I guess. Um, and then you go in here and you put the title of your print. So I, I like to say that it's a canvas print. That just helps in searches and so on. And then the description, what they already have there, I leave that um, because it tells about the product quality itself. Um, and I just explain what's on canvas print um, in the description and that also again I think probably helps when if somebody does a search in Printful um, to search for different stores or designs I guess I'm still learning it so I put in the description of the artwork and I leave the rest so that the buyer will know what it's made of how it's made um, and then there, there are just a couple other things that I use. I, I haven't used a lot of the features yet, um, partly because I'm not sure how necessary they are for what I'm putting in my store. Um, so once you get your title and your description in, then you're going to um, you're going to click on continue. Oh yeah. Uh, it asks what page because I have two stores it wants to know which which page of my website do I want this on so I had to go in and, and say shop because that's the name of the page for for the prints and then it goes to once you click continue it goes into the pricing now I'm trying to make you know, four or five bucks on my prints. 
I'm still working on researching what the standard is, but that's what I've marked up all my prints on um, is between f four and five dollars. And then submit that. And then once it finishes loading, then um, I'll show you in a second. When it finishes loading, you'll notice it says variant and it says sync. Um, this one is not going to be, there's no variant. It's, it is a variant, I guess, of its own. But anyway, so I'm going to go to the website and you can, I'll show you what it looks like on the website. So my website so far, this is my, um, that was my contact page. Okay, so there's my home page. When you first open it, that's what it looks like. Go to shop. And then to edit this page, and this is in Squarespace, you scroll down and it shows all my my um my prints. Okay, so you can see all my prints there so far. And and when you click on those, they'll take you straight to Printful and click edit and then I'm to edit I'm going to scroll down and I want to edit so you're going to click on manage items because I want to I want to put in all of the details so manage items and then I'm going to go to all so that I can scroll down and find the one that I just put in and there it is just dance so I'm going to click on that And then I can go in and I can, here I can see what is the print going to look like. Well, what I notice is you can see that there's slight, like a gray line on the left and on the bottom where the print is not quite fully 8 by 10. This can happen sometimes if you crop your picture and you don't realize that it's not exactly the right size. So then what I need to do is go back into Printful, click, um, go down to the items, click on the one I want to edit, click edit, and I need to go back in to change the size slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm click transform and I'm just going to hit the plus to bring it up just a tiny bit it only needs to be a tiny bit, and it still basically is an 8 by 10. It's just, it's cutting a tiny bit into the painting. And then I go through the, this whole process, and I've already got details, so I just go in, and the changes are saved. Um, I don't have to do anything else to it, because I've already done all the other stuff. And then when you go back to the website, hit refresh, and then that product will automatically refresh and update to so now you can see that the image comes all the way down around the canvas edge which is what you want so that's done okay and then um what I want to do is I want to move that that print so that it is up in the area. So you see all the way to the left, it turns into a hand. You can grab and move it up. So I'm going to move it all the way up above the eaves crossing and um, my, my women empowerment pieces. I want it up more where the whimsical things are so that when you scroll down, um, oh, oh yeah, yep, uh, uh, first let me show you on the website now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, add a few more details. You can see that everything that I put in in Printful 
automatically shows up on my website for that product. So there's what I described it as. Now, on this, on Squarespace, this, I can go in and I can use an AI option to rewrite things, which is kind of cool. But I want to go and make sure that the inventory is set to unlimited because these are just unlimited prints. And then I'm going to go to categories and I want to, you're going to click on categories, add this print to the category prints. And if it has another category, you can add it to another one too, but this one just needs to go in prints. Click done. And then I'm going to go down to, um, go down to the marketing and I'm going to edit. This is going to, um, ch you can change how it shows in a URL or, or you, I'm sorry, you can change how it shows as a, yeah, as a page URL by putting in the title that you want. So in other words, if somebody searches for, for your work or searches for you or whatever, the, the title that comes up in the search, that's what we're working on right now. And then you're going to change the description. You want to put in a description that is going to be flattering to the piece, that's going to be interesting for the person searching. So SEO is search engine optimization. And that's basically, so as you can see, I just copied and pasted what I had in my printful description. The, this will help the search engines find your work. So if somebody says, uh, you know, they type into Google um, horse dancing, um, girls with their horses, whatever, uh, original painting prints, then the SEO helps the search engines find you. So the more detail you can get in there, the better. And then you just click save. And now um, it's all good. So now my website is coming along. You can see here's my, my shop prints page. So the shop prints page now has the horse with the little girls on it. And I'm still experimenting. There may be products that I'm going to go delete, but for now I'm using what I have to just build this website and kind of get used to the program. And then I'll figure out exactly what I want on the website and then probably delete a few things that I really don't think will sell or that I that maybe aren't my best work. So I want to make sure I have my best work on there. But you can see how now it says one synced because it's synced as a print. The others that don't show synced, it's because they are in there as originals. I'm selling the originals uh, more through the website. Anyway, so there you go. I hope this has been helpful for you. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, and let me know if there's anything helpful that you have to add or any comments on what I'm doing. Um, I appreciate you and thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and um, that way you can keep on up on what I'm doing. All right. Have a good one.